Thank you, first of all, for joining us today on uh, what is both a, a van donor and a housewarming. We just finished, my wife just finished doing all the hard work. I came in late at night to check that everything was in order uh, of putting the house together. So it was a very special moment, as it is for any head of mission, to be able to present credentials um, and, to, and to have an opportunity for an audience, in this case with the sovereign and to be able to um, set out thoughts, plans, uh, and ideas for taking the relationship forward. This is the fourth time I've presented credentials uh, anywhere in the world, but it was, of course, very special, because our friends in the United Kingdom really know how to make this feel very special. You get to go in a, in a, in a, in a four-horse buggy, and it's a point that we Commonwealth High Commissioners love to rub in. <laughs> we have greater horsepower because non-Commonwealth heads of mission get two horses. Uh, so we clearly two up. Um, you get to spend time in Buckingham Palace with His Majesty. Um, his Majesty goes out of his way to make you feel welcome. He has conversation that is substantive with every one of his guests. And frankly, it is just a joy and a delight to be able to spend time with His Majesty. And may I ask you to join me in a toast to the India-UK partnership and to our collective efforts in serving a friendship that is long in its making and great in its potential. Cheers. Cheers. Sir, can we ask you Good afternoon, everyone. It's a huge pleasure for me to be here on behalf of His Majesty's Government and extending the best wishes of our Prime Minister, Foreign Secretary, and myself, and indeed all of us within the British Government, to you, High Commissioner, on your presentation of credentials. But I just want to say, uh, on behalf of the Kagan of the Royal Household, on behalf of the Royal Household, a very warm welcome uh, to the new High Commissioner. Uh, it's been a great pleasure of mine to have uh, presented many High Commissioners to the Queen, but you are the first High Commissioner to present from your country to credentials to the new King. And I know that he has uh, followed the developments in the relationship between our two countries for many years. He's made many visits to your country, and uh, I know that you have received a very warm well welcome from him this morning. Um, and could I also reciprocate by uh, asking everybody to raise their glasses to the health of the relationship, to the health and happiness of all the people of India, but above all to your head of state, the President. President. Thank you so much.